photographer. Yeah. I used to love photography a lot. So when did you learn photography? Because all this, you've been always been in the streets and just moving about. Where did you learn photography? I got kicked out of school mm -hmm. for photographing what was happening in school at the age of 14. Mm -hmm. Which camera are you using? Because back then, you're 40, so it might be those 14, days of film. 14, uh, There was Kodak. Oh, the film, shoot. yes. It was film, so uh -huh. point and shoot and then you go process. Mm -hmm. So even that time when I was in Bible school, I was using film. Yes. Like, photograph, print, mm. sell. Mm. Uh, when musicians come to Kenya, mm. Akina, Sean Paul, whoever mm. it was. So you taught you, you self-taught? I mostly self-taught. Mm -hmm. But now I had to go to school to learn journalism. So mm. I, had to, I didn't have a high school diploma, so yeah. I had to convince my... The school so you time. didn't finish from four? No, I didn't. And then how did you end up in university? Uh, in uh, college? So yeah. when I was in Bible school. So it was a fast fake miracle. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go. <laughs> it wasn't a fake miracle. Uh -huh. It was actually a true miracle. Yes. Because in journalism, in, in journalism school, I had a nickname actually. Mm -hmm. This called me the boy from Harvard. Mm -hmm. That was my nickname in school. Yeah. Because as a bookseller, I sold books and I was reading books. Oh. So when I went to school to apply, they told me you don't have a, you don't have your O level certificate, we mm. can admit you. Then I told them, give me an exam that you give any of the students. Mm. And if I pass, you'll admit me. Interesting. And I passed the exam. Mm -hmm. And in school, I was one of the best students. Even today, yeah. that school. Which school is that? East Africa School of Journalism. Mm -hmm. The owner sold it, then it went down and all that. But yeah. if you ask the owner, his name mm. is Reza Shui. Mm -hmm. He's a veteran journalist. If mm -hmm. you ask him, yeah. who was your best student to date? Mm. One face. Says it's me. Yeah. I, I, I'm the best achieving student that they ever produced from that school. Mm. But there are many others. Yeah. But I, if they look at who has accomplished more, mm -hmm. went back to that school to teach for them, yeah. just me. Interesting. Mm. So you got yourself admitted into journalism college, school. journalism. You learned how to master photography. And then in school, yeah. I did a, a business card for myself, mm -hmm. trainee photojournalist. Yes. I would go out and give out my business cards to everyone. Interesting. Um, and so the business acumen you had back then was because of the upbringing you had. So for you, my mother taught me business. Yeah. My mother taught me how to negotiate, how mm -hmm. to bargain. Mm -hmm. Right now I'm a shitty negotiator because mm -hmm. now I have a policy. Mm -hmm. I don't bargain with poor people. So I have a problem when I'm buying something from someone who has less than me. Mm -hmm. I don't like bargaining. Mm -hmm. So I'm, uh, my people in the house say, "Don't send Bonnie. Mm -hmm. He's gonna overpay for things." Yeah. Because I'll bargain. Kidogo lagi Yeah. Ah, interesting. You're giving nature. Because I want to. Yeah. God gives you to give. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. And so, I know, how did you end up now in media? Because I know you also had a stint in uh, Standard for I worked work. in the same place we worked. Yes. How, how did you get there? yourself there? I, I used to provide pictures for Face the Facts. Mm -hmm. This was run by Wedeka Wehenya. Yeah. Um, interesting story. So, how I got expelled from school yeah. was photographing what was happening in the school. There was kids being molested, smoking of marijuana, guys getting, teachers getting students mm. to work in their farms. Yeah. There's a lot of exploitation, mm -hmm. both sexual mm. and labor. Mm -hmm. And so from that, I documented mm -hmm. took to a minister. Yeah. Instead of the minister acting on his Sharif Nasir, mm. he ordered his director to investigate. But that director was actually a beneficiary of what was happening oh. in the school. So never and by that, yeah. I got expelled from mm -hmm. school. Mm -hmm. But the guy who wrote the article uh, was Dennis Galava. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. And with that, uh -huh. And from the age of 15 mm -hmm. till the age of 21, mm -hmm. I call with that every month. Interesting. So call me, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Call me, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Call me, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Call me. And when I went to school and started providing me, they said, now, yeah. when, you call, when you graduate, come. Mm -hmm. So that's why you got your first job. But mm -hmm. it took me, better than of calling someone, yeah. I called someone mm -hmm. for six years of my life. Every month? Every month. Mm -hmm. They would say, Called me every two months. Mm -hmm. And with that, you never gave me a single cent. I don't think you ever gave, ever gave me any money. Mm -hmm. But by the time, but he knew what I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. But by the time I got my skills ready for to be employed, yeah. he got me a job. When he got me a job at the standard, yeah. which he, uh, I got a, actually an attachment, so yeah. I had to prove myself. Mm -hmm. I was a very born again Christian, mm -hmm. very God loving. I still yeah. love God. Yeah. But those, those days, I was, like a, I was a fundamentalist Christian. Mm -hmm. My boss then, I, now he's passed away, so I don't mention his name. Yeah. Uh, wrote me a memo for wasting company resources mm -hmm. and he called me a liar. Mm. I know that ever called me a liar. Mm -hmm. You know, me, I was very spirit filled, yes, Holy Ghost fire, speaking in tongues. Yes, so what yeah. I did in return, yeah, I wrote him, I asked my colleagues, What do I do? Mm. I wrote him a memo in return. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I wrote my boss a memo. He said, You cannot call me a liar. Yeah. I castigated him and called him out. Yeah. And I got fired uh -huh. from my attachment. Oh, at standard. Yeah, then I had to go cry, 
Pamela Sitwena is my managing the editorial director or managing editor. Yeah. Then I was sent home for I think a month mm -hmm. on suspension. Then I came back and then I learned. Yeah. You don't bring your gospel to the corporate world. Yeah. If you're given a memo, injili yendi bele. Eh, una apologize, una sema. Nili makosa mafanyika. I yes, that was my my my, my corporate culture shock. But mm -hmm. the thing is, I think back that that time, and I think it's one of those things that people do. Yeah. There's there's so much competitiveness in the industry. Mm -hmm. And I was a young photographer, and people saw me as a threat. Mm -hmm. So they misled me what to do. Mm -hmm. So they made me write my boss a memo. Ah. Even, they even helped me with the language. Interesting. But Kumbe, they were helping me to get fired. fired. Yeah. But eventually got yourself. But fired. look where I am today. Yeah. They're still there.